I've got it up and awesome. <laughs> and I'm logged into if you need tools or anything to show. Oh my god. Very, Sweet. very <laughs> All right, I'm going back to bed. Turned into a monster. <laughs> All right, Sean, thank you. No thank worries. you, Sean. Thank you. Have a good sleep. Sorry, actually, I'm not going back to bed. I have a oh. challenge to create. But anyway, it sounded nice. Ciao, guys. <laughs> you wish. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> thank Tell you. Tell me around if you need me. Bye. Are we live? Uh, yeah, let me let you know if we're live first. I need to ask you two quick questions after. Anybody post any comments on that yep, we are good. I'm good uh, very good. Awesome. And I'm looking to if you. Okay, we're good. All right, go ahead and mute out. Thank you, buddy. Cheers. Okay, let me get my lower third on. We haven't started yet. This is the green room where Alex looks tired because he is. <laughs> yeah. And then, and it's a flathead, man. Eh? I'm going to. Put my little green room on. Oh, by the way, so Sandra, this is uh, welcome back as the um, uh, community helper for web copy. This is your second or third time. I think your third time, yeah? Yes. Okay, good. Um, I want you to see all the different types of um, lower thirds we have. So we haven't started yet. This is the green room. I'll go three, two, one, hit it. But this is one lower third. This is another lower third, and this is the lower third that I'm going to do with um, Brandon Steiner. We have a big, big um, hangout this Friday, my Friday, very early your time. And the guy that you see in front of you runs a $45 million company. He's also the guy who's getting me into the office of Cake Boss, this New Jersey um, very rough baker who makes these cakes that are amazing. Um, it's a cable TV show here in the United States. Oh, and he's, yeah. he's getting my daughter in. And uh, Brianna is baking a cake this weekend so that she's going to write to Cake Boss, I think you're more important than Barack Obama, which is probably true. If you don't know Barack Obama, he's the president of the United States. <laughs> so she's writing that. She's going to mail it to him and um, give a picture of a cake. And it's all about who knows who and who knows you, not who you know. So because I know this guy, he knows someone else who knows someone else who knows Cake Boss. He's also getting me into talking to the Yankees, the uh, New York Yankees, which is a, probably the most successful baseball franchise of all time. They've won the World Series more than wow. you know, any other team. Now, it's nowhere near Australian rules football, but it's close. And uh, the, the cool thing about the Yankees is if I do well there, then I'm going to speak at the other baseball teams, their management, and give my little you know, productivity speeches. So one guy can get a lot moving for us. That's awesome. And then um, I'm going to do a little... Oh, my God. Well, Fiona, what's Fiona going to do? Fiona is going to be the member of the week on hmm. Friday's Hangout. I forgot to mention her last week, so... She's member of the week last week and this week, and if anyone's watching, and if she's watching, then the secret is out. See, there was a leak out for the finals for the um, uh, for our challenge, and people knew about it. You know who the challengers were. The up, so I'm leaking this out. So Fiona, if you're watching, you're going to be the member of the week. You can tell everyone, and I'm going to bring this up early, just in case if I forget to put it up again because I'm so involved in the content, <laughs> then you're the member of the week. Um, we had new affiliates, I forgot, look, new affiliates, I forgot to bring them up, and um, we had new um, members, I forgot to bring up, okay, now, why do I do that? Well, because these lower thirds are a great way to make your copy great. Now, um, you could also do this, this is another lower third, and this lower third is the new one that is put out by Google. So if I wrote learn Okay. 
Now I just wrote my lower third. Learning to write. Okay. Okay. Or. I like that. Yeah. Okay. There's a better one. Now, let's begin because uh, we'll start with your background, Sandra, about what you did to turn pro, and then I think you've given it to a few folks to do as well. <laughs> You're drinking hot water, not Melbourne coffee, right? Right. Okay. Good. I wish I had Melbourne coffee. Okay, three, two, one. Hit it. Okay, welcome. And it is Alex, and we have Sandra as well. And this is the week where we're focusing on updates, case studies, and progress. And it's all about web copy. The goal is to find how many people have turned pro. It's all about you. you know, in the United States, we have Uncle Sam saying, I want you. And usually it's like going to war or something, but no, this is going to marketing battle, which is starts with writing. I just hired a copywriter for our affiliate program for Hangout Marketing Secrets. And why would I hire a copywriter? For less work for me. But I write the main pieces for him, and then he's going to distribute it and make the... Um, copy available so that the final 20% is perfect. That's the most, that's the biggest headache is the final 20% of anything. And so his name is Nito. He's a well-known copywriter in small circles. And I'm going to, if I hire one, you can hire one too, or someone can hire you. And so the goal here is to see if you've made your first dollar. If you've made your first dollar, you're a professional copywriter. And I promise you from stage, if you're a professional and I like your work, I'm going to start sending you business. Now, I'll send you business for help wanted ads. So you can start being a copywriter in your area of expertise for help wanted. Now, Sandra, so far so good. Is this understandable? Because I'm a little yes. foggy. Okay. Exciting. Okay. Now, the reason we want to do help wanted is I want you to go to your competitors and say, I'm a help wanted expert. And... The help wanted ads that I can write will pull. They're proven. And the reason that you want to do that with your competitors is because if your competitors want help, you may be employed by them. If you go to someone and they want help and they're um, describing you, you not only write the ad, you can say, hey, I'm the one who can do it. I wrote the ad, but I'm the one who actually fulfilled this job especially if it's an independent contractor um, mm -hmm. possibility. So use that idea as a way to get a new job. Use that idea to get paid. It's, there's no better way to get paid and to get the job before you get the job and to get paid before you get the job. And that's like pre-funding because you're getting paid to write the copy and then you go, hey, I'm the guy. I'm the guy who's supposed to be fulfilling or gal fulfilling this job. So use that idea and I want you to go into this week looking for clients since you're a professional. I'm a copywriting, I'm a web copy pro. My specialty is writing help wanted ads. So anytime you're in the world of you know wanting you know more help in your area of expertise, I'm your person. Can I see some samples? You say sure. Um, here's an ad for <laughs> Excuse me. Here's an, yes, thank you. Here's an ad for a, um, a, a IT person. Here's an ad for a salesperson. Here's an ad for a um, vice president. You make up the ads and just change the verbiage so it looks a little different. And you know, focus on the first few words and say, I've done all these ads. You don't have to say that they've worked or haven't. You've done them. You say, I can do an ad just for you. So the easiest place to look for work, Sandra, is this making sense? Yes. Okay. The easiest place to, make, uh, to look for work is in the Help Wanted section. So if you go online and um, you look at Help Wanted ads in online magazines or local publications, or if you go to monster.com or places where uh, jobs are being offered, you go to the individual person say, I can write, you know, want to be hired person. 
That's the other side of it, right? Hey, are you looking for someone enthusiastic? Okay, here's a good one. Are you looking for someone tired? <laughs> and who wants about no, him, man. <laughs> and who wants, oh my God, really? Okay. Um, you want someone who, uh, <laughs> good. Now I'm devastated. That's going to be good for the rest of the hour. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you someone who, you know, needs Melbourne coffee and is tired and woke up five minutes before he should have? Are you someone who lets? Are you are you someone who lets the um, alarm go even when it th says three thirteen a.m. Thinking that it's going to be okay every five minutes, and you wake up and you see it says three fifty a.m. and you go, "Oh my God, should I wake up for all fifty of those people?" Yes, okay. Are you one of those people that wondered they should brush their teeth in the morning if no one's watching, or if you're in a hangout? Well, if that's you. <laughs> Then, <laughs> Thank you for getting up for us. I, I did brush my teeth. I did brush my teeth. So one of these days, the camera is going to have like a, a breath modulator, and so they'll go, <laughs> Alex, please, brush your teeth, please. Okay, so you can write web copy for people for Help Wanted Ads, or you can write it for people who are looking for work. Get paid. Start at 100 bucks. Go to Fiverr. Make 5 bucks. Okay, so... Before we bring people on, Sandra, tell the story of your professional web copy, copy uh, uh, analysis and the gift that you gave others. Just tell the story because I thought it was very creative. I, I'd never seen anyone do that. Go for it. Well, last week when um, you gave us a task, I kind of went to bed thinking, oh, God, how am I going to do this? Who am I going to ask? And then in the morning I woke up and I thought, oh, Facebook. So I want to put a thing on Facebook, and um, within 10 seconds, I started getting replies. So I got one, and I got really excited, but then the next morning, I had 12, and I was like, oh, shit, how am I going to do all this? So then I emailed everyone, and I said, if anyone needs any, I've got plenty. So some of them already had them, um, and a couple of them I shared with. And that was really easy, because in fact, the one that I got wanted an au pair, for her children. So I was like, oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I did the week before. So it was easy. I changed a couple of things. I sent it to her. She put a dollar in my account and I celebrated. And it was a lot easier than I thought. And I felt very grateful because if I ha had to do that from scratch, I would have, I haven't got a creative mind, so I wouldn't have done it. But because you gave us some amazing templates that I'm really grateful for, it just made my life a lot easier. Thank you. All right, we'll let them in. Let's uh, hear who else has to say what. Where is the link? I'll give it to you. <laughs> I might need that. I gave it to Sean, but that doesn't matter because he left. All right. All right, so if you've joined us, we want to know if you've gone pro. And I also gave you an assignment to go to uh, the mastermind group and type in your name and number. Did you um, see the email? I checked who did it and I emailed you. No, I don't, what, I don't know what you just said. I, I checked who did the profile on the mastermind group and I emailed you the names. Oh. Well, I'm going to go to, I'm going to show you who, who did it. So go ahead and um, I'll look at that. Go ahead and, and invite everybody. Did you do that? Yeah, I did that. Do you want me to share the screen to see um, the mastermind? No. no, but I will do it. Thank you. Very good. All right, so I type in Hassan, and I see Nicholas Hassan. Now, the only challenge I have with Nick is, is he's a blue head right now, so he's got to upload his picture. Um, I am a pump application specialist. Okay, that's a very, very interesting opening. Specializing progressive cavity pumps. I offer my customers solutions to their problem. Um, I engineer their system for best efficiency, which reduces their operational cost. Now, that's a very good niche. And so if someone's perusing saying, hmm, I'm looking for a, a pump application specialist, this is the guy right here. Because I don't think there's any other person in all of our mastermind that does that. Okay, why am I taking Alex's class? To better understand, make this a little bigger so you can see it, to better understand uh, the internet and methods of 
marketing, and more importantly, learn the world's best copy. Um, learn the world's best copywriter, Alex Mondosi, and how to improve marketing via the web. Well, I don't think I'm the world's best, but maybe close. So thank you for that, Nick. Companies, people who are in need of my expertise to provide them with a solution which will assist in their production efficiently, uh, effectively and efficiently. Okay, so let's look at this here. Um, pumppower.com.au. So here's a very simple way to improve this, just the way you've uh, produced this. And thank you for, for putting your, um, your name in because I'm gonna check everyone's last name. Um, big P, Big P. So big P pump, big P power, and then that makes it come through a lot easier. And you can see it because it has an uppercase, uppercase. So like Alex Mondosian would be upper A, upper M. So just like, oops, I don't know what happened. Uh-oh. All right. So we'll go back. All right, here we go. Ah, I love that. All right, so see Alex A. Alex M. Okay, you want to do that with your um, your URL. So I'm going to click on Pump Power, and we go to Pump Power. And Nick, what what you unmute yourself? Is this the Pump Power website? Yeah, I actually can't see it for some reason, but I assume it is if you've just gone on there. So yes. Oh, you can't see it. No, unfortunately, all I can see is your face in a little round thing at the moment. So, uh, can I, you guys I, see I, it? I can. I can see the website. Okay. Why can't I? Okay, I don't know, but I, I'll tell you what. Pump Power needs a lot of help, so I want you to go to their website, and I want them to pay you for you to write, write um, writing. They've already we've discussed it already, Alex. It's um, going to be a happening thing. Well, good. Now, your first assignment is going to say, give me the check, and then we'll do it in phases. So here's the way we do it. It's a, right now, it's a $2,500 assignment, and the deposit is $1,500 Aussie, um, just to give them the executive summary and the plan of what you're going to do in order to make this site a lot more appealing. This site not only needs a lot of help, it has to come from the Dark Ages to from like 2001, maybe. This looks like maybe 1999, all the way through 2013. And I don't understand the site. I mean, it, it's You're not, looking at the old website. Yeah. Well, it needs a new one, right? It needs a new one. Let me see here. I'll do it again. And someone stop muting me. Now we've just we're just about to put out a new one, and we're actually currently just going through working on it. It should be ready, actual fact, any day now. Okay. Or they might have actually put part of it up. So the goal, the goal, the goal would be, would be have, have a goal, a goal for the site. So what's the outcome of the site? Do we want prospects? Do we want new vendors? Who are the type of people approaching the site? So go ahead and mute yourself out as they say an echo. I hear an echo. So let me show you a site that is run by friends of mine. All right. All right. So this is called um, Radio TV Interview Report. If you can see it, Aussies, nod your head. Okay, good. So there are two people that come to the site, guests of people who want to be on radio um, and finding a guest or a producer of people to be on radio. So if I click this, right, then I'm going to go to a place where I'm, I want to be on radio, okay? So that's what, want to find a guest, then I, I'm going here to be a guest wanted to get free publicity as a guest on radio TV shows so that's one target audience need to find a guest well if I go and I want to find a guest then this is where a producer goes and sees you know if there are guests here that they can get on the show it's a very very simple site but what's cool about this is look how simple this thing the, the magazine producers read for guests and show ideas 
So this is what the copy looks like at the top, RTIR. It's called Radio TV Interview Report. And there's two types of people that visit. People who want to be on TV and people who have productions for tech TV. And so, Nick, you can do the same thing. Um, you probably have two types of people visiting that site, and a very simple uh, page like this um, would be a great way to begin. And the easiest way to begin is to ask yourself, okay, what website do, you, do I want to be like? like? What website is out there? What look and feel do I want in order to be like um, a, a pump power to be not world class, but a class that would be worthwhile that people could go and, and check out. So on a before and after, and we have one more week of this for web copy. So next week is the last week and Wendy's going to be with us. <clears throat> Unless you go, no, we got to keep going. Then I'm going to take about two, three weeks off. And your goal is to go find copywriting gigs. So we'll see a new website from Nick and hopefully we'll see some, I'll, I'll give you an assignment as we move on, um, some access to projects that you've worked on writing web copy. Because uh, as far as rep, web copy, you probably are moving a lot slower than you need to in generating income. And this is a great opportunity, even though Nick works for the company, he could be writing company for uh, copy for the company as well. Minimum 2500 deposit 1500 Why? It's over 50%. Okay. Aussie dollars. So I'm going to type in, let's see, another one. Now, San Sandra, what would I type in for you for your last name? Because I typed in Hassan and you didn't come up. What would I type in? Babel. Oh, I need to publish. <laughs> Can you do someone else's? <laughs> Are you muted, Alex? We can't hear you. I think he wants you to read it. <laughs> Can you guys hear him? <clears throat> Well, I can't see it then. It's gone back to bed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay, one well, minute. I think you're up, Sandra. I think you're in the top chair. <laughs> it disappeared. Okay. That I'm gonna... like that thing. Let's find it. Hold on. Tools. Mastermind. All right, I'll bring mine up. Uh, wait. No, we can't hear you, Alex, and we can't see you either. What about now? Oh, yes, now we can hear you, but we can't see you. Oops. Oh, we can see you now, but we can't hear you. <laughs> we still can't hear you. No, can't hear you, but can see you. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. I'll bring mine up. Okay. How about now? Yeah, yes, good. yes, we can hear you and we can see you. 
Woohoo! Jay! Maybe Jay. Alexi, go muted again. Uh oh, how about I read it? Can you see it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll read it until he recovers his um, hello, sound. Hello. Yes, we can hear you now. No, you're gone again. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Okay, I'll read it for you. So, how do I zoom it in? Test, test, test. Yes, okay. Alex, you're back. Oh, On and off, Alex. No, we can't hear you now again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read it. So, what, what I do, I am an assistant <laughs> trainer for DHF Acre and Success Resources, and I do sales. <laughs> Funny. Yes. Oh, now we're all silent. Yep, Alex, the sound keeps on cutting, cutting in and out. I... Oh, we can hear now. No, you're gone again. Can... Alex, can you hear us? Do you know, you know the settings in the top right hand corner, the cog up the top? <laughs> <laughs> Some, sometimes I've had it where it's happened to me and I've done that and refreshed it, it, it helps. <laughs> Alex, you, you can type and we can, we can read it off for you. <laughs> yeah, you might as well type because we can't hear you. Well, we can all go out and start again. We could have a take two. Well, we can get Sean out of bed and he can fix it, Mr. Fix-It. Do you want to get Sean? Don't get Sean. Don't get Sean. You're back. You're oh, back. I can hear you. Well, Tom's gone. <laughs> oh, Alex frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Tom is gone. Tom's back. Alex Do you want me to keep reading my aunt, Alex, or we wait for you? It, you can, can you guys see Alex? It, it's frozen, he's frozen on my screen. Oh, is he? Yeah. Hi. Mm. Mm.
new skills rapidly, work at a fast pace, type like your finger is on fire, research like Sherlock Holmes. I like that when you spaced all the paragraphs. Yeah. Are you organized and methodical? Do you have mountains of energy, a good work ethic, and lots of common sense? Can you write copy, email, use uh, Excel, use Word, use uh, MS PowerPoint, and enter data? Do you have the ability to solve problems quickly and have an eye for detail? Do you show initiative, are willing to browse through websites, filtering and gathering information and research all those nooks and crannies that aren't even visible to the human eye? Can you use Google Docs, <laughs> Google, Google Business Apps, <laughs> Gmail, and Google Hangouts? Oh you can try to hire yourself, Tom. Tom. You're going to sound like you. you just yeah. yourself. That's it. Can you work with others and collaborate on projects? Can you follow instructions and processes when required? Can you think outside of the box? Are we a good fit so far? If yes, please continue. If not, stop reading now, and I wish you blessed of luck in the future. Who are we? We are a family business based in Melbourne, seeking it. Uh, Melbourne, Australia, seeking a special long-term business relationship with a person who knows how to be organized, methodical, and produce results. If you are good with computers and technology and have around 25 hours of uninterrupted computer time available each week, this might be the opportunity of a lifetime. We're looking for that highly motivated, extra special virtual assistant who is English speaking, willing to show up on time and ultra reliable to complete tasks quickly and efficiently. This means no whiners or lazy people. <laughs> and please, don't respond if you have too many personal commitments. That how paragraph do we sounds familiar. Yeah, how do we pay? <laughs> So we'll pay, we'll pay you by PayPal at the rate of a grand total of three US dollars per hour, um, because typically it takes about four hours, um, six days a week. You'll make about two hundred and fifty to three hundred US. Oh, you're undercutting me. Managing to hire yeah. from Philippines, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what it. You're a cheapskate. Each each <laughs> and surprise bonus will give plus the ability to expand your knowledge as we grow. After you complete. Our survey and this virtual assistant position still sounds like a good fit to you. Submit your full name, Gmail address, Skype ID at the end of the survey form. Um, if you meet our requirements, we will email you and, you and will require a copy of your resume to be emailed back. Um, we will then narrow the pool and set up our first video conference, uh, video call interview. Um, you'll also be expected to share two references, work pieces, and complete two tasks to see if you have the skills to move forward. We've gone wow. the extra mile in preparing this virtual assistant classified ad as we're looking for the right virtual assistant who thinks long term. If that's you, then please take action. What to do now? Click the survey, uh, sorry, take the survey by clicking here. If the survey is still active, we're still looking. Nice. Right. The so one, 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 step, one step further. Here's my survey. Nice. I love that. <laughs> Take a bow, Tom. So it's already set it's already set up, so if anyone would like to apply for the job, that's your life. <laughs> Tom, oh, I'd like to apply for the job. I need a few more zeros behind the three. <laughs> yeah. We have to go to the Philippines or India. <laughs> Tom, what the... personality type are you? Methodical. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> Good on you. That's great. Maria, what about you? You were here last week. Do you want to share yours with us? Oh, my wife's uh, muted. Unmute yourself. Sorry. I, I, do I just press the screen share button? Uh, yes. I heard you, Alex. I heard you, Alex. You came back for. No, he's gone again. Testing, testing. Oh, you're oh, back. Yes. Yep. Look, you can you. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley's there already. Oh, my God. <laughs> what about a Marcel Marceau? You could do a Marcel Marceau today. That would be good. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you do some tapping therapy so you can fix your back? Oh, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's let's read um Juan, shall we? And um, can you see it? Uh, yes, we can see it. Can you yeah. enlarge it a little bit? 
Um, how, do I, how do I do that? Hang on, I think Alex is saying stop. Or he's milky cow, not sure. Stop. One of the two. Alex is quiet. Okay, so should we go back to Rick Hans because she wasn't here last week, and then we can all give her feedback. How about that? We'll run it as a mastermind group, yeah? She puts it on and we all give her feedback. You Thanks ready, Hans? Yeah, thank you. Uh, Just a screen share it for us again, and then you can read it, and we'll all give you cool feedback. Okay, can you see it now? No, we can see your beautiful face. Hmm. I thought I pressed a screen share. Um. Okay, can you see it now? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yes. So this is the one that Sandra helped me get, and I had no idea what a Hugo was or anything like that, and... Um, but I thought if I, I can't really pick and choose later on with jobs, so I might as well just take it and go for it. And um, here it is. So um, heading your edible landscaping internship and your volunteer opportunity of a lifetime. Are you dependable, resourceful, and an experienced self-starter who never needs to be supervised as an organic gardener, yet capable of working well in a team environment? Are you a good time manager, flexible, honest, dedicated, keen to learn and enthusiastic with passion for organic gardening, permaculture and horticulture? Nice. Do you have a great deal of energy, a good work ethic and lots of common sense? Do you do gardening like a champion? Do you enjoy getting your hands dirty to transform a plain plot of land into an amazing edible landscape? This is what the um, plot of land currently looks like. Do you strive for a complete and meaningful learning experience? Are you le willing to learn with hands-on experience the whole process of, say, a Hugo project from start to finish? Please check out this video, which explains what is involved in making a Hugo, which is a self-watering raised garden bed. Are you willing to be a long-term volunteer intern working full-time six days a week for more than one month? You will get one day off a week, not necessarily on the weekend, so that you can do your personal errands. Banks are closed on weekends and shopping malls are very crowded on the weekends. It's better to run your errands on a weekday. The day off will be on a rotation basis with other interns and may not be rigidly fixed, but it's flexible. Of course, interns can volunteer for shorter periods of time, but their learning experience will not be so complete and they will not gain the maximum benefit. 
Mm. Can you do chores such as watering the plants if it hasn't rained, feeding the cats and dogs, dig shallow holes, chop up and carry logs, work with sawdust, gather green leaves, clean tools and so forth? Can you carry out the following typical daily routine for an intern? Um, 0600 hours, get up with the civil exam. I have no idea what civil exam is, but I'm just copying what he did. Um, 0700 hours, get chores done in the house and under the street lights. At 0800, get chores done in the orchard. Um, 0900 hours, shower and breakfast. 10 get chores done. Zoho, lunch and siesta, Facebook, Skype and Twitter time, get more work done, clean tools, shower and get ready for dinner, bedtime. Do you also like having a plant library where you can donate and exchange plant cuttings, seeds and planting material? Are we a good fit so far? If yes, please continue. If not, stop reading now and wish you the best of luck in the future. Who we are. I am the founder of the Green Party of Malaysia, the Echo Village Homestay and Edible Landscape in Kuala Lumpur, um, the address there, uh, a showcase of how we live sustainably and be largely self-sufficient in terms of food. We live the green life, um, Lohas, lifestyle of health and sustainability, but rather than forcing people to live the same way, we demonstrate the possibilities for them to emulate if they so wish. We are seeking a special long-term relationship with people who already have existing knowledge and skills and or unexperienced people who are keen to learn on the job how to transform my plot of land into an edible landscape. If you're great with gardening and want to learn practical hands-on skills as well as theory and principles of organic gardening, permaculture, herbiculture, and am able to work full-time six days a week, this just might be your opportunity of a lifetime. What we want, we're looking for that extra special intern volunteer organic gardener. Volunteers, um, which are volunteers who come from further afield and require accommodation and who will receive a full-time experience or local volunteer, people who live nearby the homestead, hence don't require accommodation and can come to volunteer their time as many times a week as they wish while learning some practical skill who has positive attitude, is willing to show up on time and ultra reliable to get the job done. That means no whiners or lazy people. And please don't respond if you have a lot of personal commitments. How we pay. For your hard work and dedication, long-term volunteers will be rewarded with free accommodation and food. Long-term volunteers will each get to sleep on a single bed in a shared dormitory style room in a house. There is a shared toilet, WC and shower with solar powered hot water. Other benefits for long-term volunteers include free wireless internet during daily siesta from Zohor to Asa. There's five, there is a five gigabyte quota per month for peak hours and 15 gigabyte quota per month for off-peak hours. However, additional quota can be bought in blocks of two gigabyte for 30 ringgits. Local volunteers will benefit from the practical hands-on skills they learn as well as the theory and principles of organic gardening, permaculture and horticulture. What to do now? We've gotten the extra mile in preparing this edible landscape internship and our volunteer classified ad. We're looking for the right volunteer organic gardener who thinks long term. If that is you, then please do email me your application at the email address listed below. You'll be expected to email me a cover letter, references and CV as well as any other information that you see fit in support of your application. Character references are just as important as references attesting to your skills. Here's my email address. Nice. This yeah. Is a nice. Yeah. This well is a guy who contacted us on Facebook and said he was looking for a, a volunteer. And I love it because it just seemed like so complex what he wanted to do. But I love the way you detail it, um, Maria. It's just made it very specific so that people know exactly what's required, what they're getting into. Yeah, well, I didn't know that went into too much detail. I was a bit worried about that, but I thought because at the beginning when you first emailed me, it didn't seem I wasn't very clear what he was after, and then I asked him a few more questions, then he answered them, and that's what how I wrote it. So hopefully, has he, he seen this already? No, he hasn't as yet because he only emailed me back today with the answers to the questions. So yeah, okay. Perfect. So who would like to jump in and give some feedback? 
based on what we learned last week. I, I like one other thing. I just wanted to plus something. You put in a, a link to the Google Maps of where uh, where it was located, which I think is quite important for um, this context because it's not in our country. Yes, and the video of how to do what they're expecting them to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I had no idea what I think it was at all. <laughs> awesome. I think it's great. It's very detailed. Wendy, have you got some feedback? Um, no, just that it was, yeah, it was lots of detail, like the potential candidate would read that and um, I don't think they'd have many questions afterwards because um, there's so much information there. That's fantastic. Well done. Thank you, Amy. Yeah. Yeah, I think especially if they're going as a volunteer, they really need to know what they're getting into. Because yeah, I was just thinking if they're from another city or state or something like that, they need to get all the information. And rather than bombarding the um, like Aslan with all the questions, with all the questions, yeah, I agree. They know exactly what they are. in the ad already, and he doesn't have to answer anything really. Great. One, one Is, other, um, one other option, and and you know, it's it's neither um, better or worse. It's just another way of doing it. Is you you could have a smaller ad, and in the ad, say something like, if you're still interested click on the job description and then um, move them through to the full package in the job description. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, it doesn't matter really because the way that you did it is is fine as well. Thank you. Yeah, that's a great idea. Just if you wanted something more compact yeah. to eliminate the ones that are not going to be interested and then yeah. filter them well, in. So the, that's a good idea. I'll see what he wishes and then we'll go from there. Make sure you get your dollar first before you do any more work. Do I send it to him first, right? Before I get the dollar or what happens? How did you do it, Sam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, just send it. I, I sent mine first and then she said, um, how do I pay you? And I said, put it in my account. Yeah, so straight so, into your account. Yeah. Yeah, I gave him my bank account. Gave him my bank account and she just put in the dollar and then Yeah, okay. I wouldn't even bother with changes at this stage. I would just probably say, hey, here is, what do you think? Here's my yeah. camp with my dollar. Yeah, yeah that's a good idea. I didn't think of that um, direct deposit. I was just going to send mine a PayPal bill, but yeah, that's another option. Just, um, what is it? EFT, electronic funds transfer. Yeah. I wanted my whole dollar, and if I did PayPal, I wouldn't get my whole dollar. <laughs> yeah, actually, you're right. It's probably better because PayPal charges us, don't they? Good idea. Right, I'm going to do the EFT now, not PayPal. So, cool. Or EFT, you can go for all this the dollar, yeah, not one minute. like a transaction fee. Sorry, two people were talking, I can't hear both. Right, right Tom. I, I was just saying if they were from overseas and they're going to do an overseas international transfer, that's 25 bucks. <laughs> Plus conversion rate, it's just easier for, pay, for them to PayPal. That's true, actually. I don't know if he's in Australia or not. Good point, Trevi. Thank you. Trevi was saying to put it into my tip jar in my, in my um, website. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's a, a good, good idea. idea. Yeah, so I was going to do that. Cool. LJ, well, oh, would you like to share something? Did you do one? Hi, guys. I did do one. Um, I'm really excited to be on here. You can all call me Lisa. LJ is my pen name. So, <laughs> um, Lisa. so yeah. It's really cool to be called LJ, I've got to say. I've never been called that before. It's just how I had um, yeah, some things set up, so it's pretty groovy. Um, I did do one. Now, I've never done screen share before, so I just click okay. the screen share and then it brings up the Word document. Is that correct? Yeah, you just do have it on a different browser from the Hangout so that it's on the bottom tabs. And then just click on the screen share and bring it up. Okay. If you have a few open, it will show you all the ones and you can click on the one you want. Um, so just before, sorry to interrupt Lisa, can I just get a feel for what's happening now? So Alex has left the building like Elvis Presley, is that right? And we're just running it on our own now, <laughs> is that right? Or is he? Or are they in the background trying to fix it and they intend coming back? I'm not or sure. Or we just don't know. <laughs> Sandra, I mean, if it's possible, ask, ask uh, Alex to use Sean's computer and just log in from there, Sean's account. Mm. All right, I'll send him a message while um, Lisa is trying to get her document up. And, and welcome, Lisa. Trying. It's nice to meet you. Uh, it's awesome to be here. I've been watching you guys. I haven't been able to get on 
and it's, I've been following along every week, and oh, it's that's just good. awesome to um, yeah Lovely. be part of the group. So, Where yay. are you from? Which, which part of Ballarat. Australia? Yeah, Australia, Ballarat in Victoria, freezing. Oh, cold. Ballarat! Woo <laughs> Yeah, it'd be cold there tonight. If it's cold in Melbourne, it'd be even colder in Ballarat. It is freezing, but it's yeah. all good. Okay, I've I'm got my blanket on. I'm struggling with this screen share, share. Um, Lisa? Sure. Sorry? Did you work it out? No. Can you see on your left-hand side a little, like a TV kind I of sign? I can see that, yep, but I, I'm not quite sure. Just click on that? Yep. When you open that up, Lisa, you yep. should get a whole heap of little TVs inside that, that screen and yes. then you click on the one that has the document in it and it should go grey and like box it around the, the TV and then once you've, it goes grey you can then click start screen share. Now I would recommend to open the word document in a completely separate browser so it comes up easily so you don't have to flip between tabs. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit of yeah, technical stuff. I've got my L plates on, so sorry. Yeah, don't guys. worry, I'm the same. It's not um, just feel free to read it out for us. Okay, that will probably be better because, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so I paid myself a dollar for this because I haven't actually got a, a customer as such, but I didn't want to miss out on doing the, the task. Um, so awesome. it. It is pizza delivery opportunity of a lifetime. Um, are you dependable, punctual, honest, and an experienced self-starter who loves working with people? Do you turn up for work regardless of weather conditions, rain, hail, or shine, you'll always be ready to deliver pizzas? Are you always polite, courteous, and smiling even when customers are rude to you? Are you happy to work in the evenings every weekend? Do you have a reliable car and a current driver's license? So initiative, do you possess excellent time management skills? Do you stay unflustered and focused when working in a stressful, fast-paced environment? Can you easily cope with juggling several deliveries at one time, working out the fastest route so our pizzas are always delivered hot? Do you have a flair for customer service? Do you take pride in your work and always strive to do your best? Are you a positive, happy person that likes to smile a lot? Do you take care to always look your best? And are you happy to clean the shop and help with other duties during quiet delivery time? <coughs> are you also experienced in handling cash and are you confident in carrying cash at night? Um, so the compassionate bit. Can you be nice to people of all walks of life, from young to old and everything in between? <laughs> you never know who's going to open the door to accept their delivery, so it's vitally important that you can be smiling and friendly to everyone. Can you be patient, especially when the clock is ticking and you have other deliveries to do but your current customer seems to take ages to get their money ready? Are you the type of person who can easily take abuse from a customer while remaining polite and professional? We don't encounter abusive customers often but it can happen and we need to be sure that you can keep your cool in such a situation. Who we are? We are Smoking Hot Pizzas, your local wood-fired gourmet pizza shop. We are seeking a special person who is an experienced pizza delivery expert cool. Join our team for long-term employment. If you're a people person with great time management skills and have 15 hours to devote to us each week, then this might just be the opportunity of a lifetime. What we want, we're looking for an experienced, extra special pizza delivery driver, someone who is willing to show up on time, whatever the weather conditions, to get our pizzas delivered hot. Someone who loves giving great customer service and has a bubbly personality. That means no whiners or lazy people. And please don't respond if you have a busy social life on the weekends. <laughs> How we pay. You supply your own car and pay for your own petrol and we'll pay you a flat hourly rate of $22. Plus you get to keep any tips that you earn. Now that's well above the award wages for a pizza delivery person and we do this on purpose. We don't want an average person working for us. We want a pizza delivery no. expert. And not just any expert. As you will have read so far, the person we're looking for excels in many different ways. From customer service to personal cleanliness, you will be a cut above the rest. I've got to take a breath. <laughs> because the job is spread out over three days, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, 5 till 10 p.m., you'll make $330 before tax per week. You'll be working hard for us, so we want you to, be so we want you to stay energised throughout your shift. We will happily supply you, supply you with free soft drinks or bottled water throughout your shift. 
You won't have time for a dinner break each night, but when your shift ends, you can take dinner home with you. You pick what you want from the menu and it's yours. So when you call, after you call our 24 hour recorded message and if this pizza delivery job still sounds like a good fit, leave your name and phone number at the end of the recorded message so I can call you back to set up our first phone interview. You'll be expected to give two references as we are looking for a professional delivery driver. Please note that I will be calling the references provided. Please also note that police checks will be done on all short shortlisted applicants and that we will need to look at your driver's license. It's imperative to us that our special new delivery driver is of the utmost character and possesses honesty and trustworthiness. If you have a problem with us doing a police check or ringing referees, then this job is not for you. We've gone the extra mile to prepare this pizza delivery classified ad. We're looking for the right person who is wanting a long-term position with an employer that will appreciate all their hard work and treat them with respect. We understand that if you go the extra mile for us, we will go the extra mile for you. If that's you, then please do call the toll-free number listed below. What to do now? Call our toll-free 24-hour recorded message now. If the message is still playing, we're still looking. You might want to read this out again one more time before you give us a call. We don't want you wasting your time and we don't want to waste our time. So read through this out again and make sure that we are a good match. If you, we are, then I can't wait to hear from you. Here's the number. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> Who wants rock. a pizza job? <laughs> you rock. That's awesome. Well done. Oh, I need a sip of water now. That was epic. <laughs> you deserve a sip of water and more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, well done, Lisa. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Can you hear you, Alex? Alex. <coughs> Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Amazingly so, we can. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. And we can see you. Okay. So look at this here. All right. Sandra, you keep yes. going. You're doing great. Uh, were you going to deliver this, Simon, or keep going first? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't yes. know if you can hear me or not. Okay. I had a lot planned today, but we'll wait for that for next week. Um, Sean and I talked. And if you have a Macintosh, sometimes you have to reboot it. I haven't rebooted mine in about a month. So it was going in and out. Um, the most interesting things for me to get is, Alex, take a look at the mute thing on the right-hand side. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my, my teacher thing comes out like, yes, I know. <laughs> take a look at the little thing on the bottom, right? Yeah, I'm looking at that too. Maybe both are on, no. Okay, so... This happened last week on um, one of the Hangouts, and I don't know what happens. It doesn't really matter. But first of all, let's all give Sandra a hand, like a GBI. She's doing it again. <laughs> okay, so what I'd like to do, it's more fun teaching that way, you know, because the uh, universe just took me out. It's your time to shut up. I said, okay, fine. So what I'd like to do is... Um, First of all, you all, all of you are providing a miracle. You are all copywriters, every one of you. You have niches from water pumps to pizza, you know, from business rescue to, you know, parents with newborns to, to assistant trainers. I mean, it's, it's mind boggling what you're creating. Now, I don't know if you appreciate that. I don't know if you care about it, but I'm going to tell you and remind you that you were not here two weeks ago. Nowhere even close. And this is only one area. One. And that's help wanted. Now the reason I think this is one of the, I think I've guessed, I've gotten lucky and I've guessed right in some cases. This is one of them. When I teach copy, help wanted is the easiest type of copy to get. That kind of job. Why? Well, for someone like me, if I'm going to, uh, if you can hear me nod your head, Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> so if, if you go out into the marketplace and you say, I'm going to be a web copywriter, well, the people may be on life support and they need that one word or one headline. It's never going to happen. They need a lot more than that. They need a whole new farm, not just one new, you know, corn stock. You know, they, they need a whole new um, system, not just, you know, one offer. So it's very difficult to be a copywriter, go out there and write and say, Alex, you know, 
I'm trying to make four or five thousand dollars a month. I can't do it because no one wants to hire me. Well, that's that's the nature of someone like me. In my job, I would go out. Now, I I would charge more. And the interesting thing is, there's more work at the twenty five thousand dollar level than at the two thousand dollar level. And the two thousand dollar level, those people are pain in the butt. Or backside, like you call you guys call them bums, right? Pain in the bums. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're problem children. But at the higher level, um, I tell them I want this word to be put. They go, you think so? I go, yeah. Um, are you sure? Yes. Okay, go ahead and do it. Why? Because they pay twenty five thousand dollars. Okay, so I don't want you to be at the twenty five thousand or the two thousand. I want you to be at a place where you can write help wanted ads for others in your area of, of expertise. Now, my blessing is finding ways to very creatively find work and do something for ourselves at this time. So if you got, go out to your competitors and you say that I'm a, a web and off web copywriter, my specialty is help wanted ads, would someone pay you 250 bucks to write an ad? Would someone pay you 500 bucks to write an ad? Maybe even 100, they'll pay you a buck. So the answer is yes, they would. And pretty soon in the industry or the niche, you, be, you get that reputation. So focus on help wanted because I, as I'm listening to LJ, I'm, I'm thinking, this is a world-class ad and it's about pizza. Okay. And the confidence I, I see exuding, I mean, all of you could see it. She's reading it. She can't wait to get to each paragraph. You already see the pattern, you know, what do we want? What do we do? How much do we, you know, the pattern is there. So you got this. So rather than making you go to another type of ad, start getting some help wanted gigs. All of you. Now, Wendy, um, you're going to be on next week. I'm going to throw down the challenge in your free time. Hopefully if I'm muted, you're going to be taking on the show like Sandra did. So be prepared for that. Okay. And you don't have to bring your Yoda head because you always have a good hair day. <laughs> uh, what I want you to do is I want you to um, go to three places. Let me see your fingers. How many? Three. Thank you. I want you to go to three places. They can be anything. And say that you are a, a help wanted copywriter. And they go, what's that? I specialize in help wanted ads. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the ad that you just had and you, you're not going to make it the same and change the words because then they'll say, what do I need you for? You'll do a short version of it. You'll say, this is $500. And then you'll do a little longer version. You say, this is $750. And then you'll do the longest version, which we just heard LJ. That's $1,500. And now you have, you can say, now I want you to do the $1,500 one because you can take the $1,500 one and you can make the five, uh, the what was it, 751. You can make the 751 yourself, right? Because you can just pull from the $1,500 one. And then you can do a $500 one yourself because you can just pull bits and pieces from the $1,500 one. That's the way I would approach someone. And you say, but I'm not going to charge you $1,500. I'm not going to charge you $1,400, $1,450. 14, I'm not going to charge you even 14, 1395, 1350, 1297. I'm going to charge you not, not 1150, 1100, or even uh, 10999, not 10998, not 10997. How about 10, 4, 10, 1049? No, I'm not going to do that. Not 10, 1048, 1047. And then you can see Harv's face popping up, right, all of a sudden. Then you do the final flip, because all of you are here because of that, right? And then you can say, I'll charge you 995 Aussie dollars. I'll even give you that extra $5, which I deserve, 995 because it sounds better than 1000 And it will be the $1,500 ad. And from that, you can extract the 750 and the $500 one. So basically, you're getting... $2,500 worth of advertising for less than a thousand Aussie dollars. Say less than $2,000, more than $2,000 of advertising. So that, that's what you, what? no, no, more than 25. Yeah. More than $2,500 worth of advertising. So let me go through the offer again. That's for all of you. You have three types of ads, 1500, 750, 500. You're going to offer the 500 and you're going to show them the structure. And then you're going to do some homework. 
And then you're going to come back a day or two later because you write really fast. Now, you would have been done in half an hour like Trevi did last time, but you're going to come back in a day or two so that it makes it look like you did something. Because if you do it too fast, then they go, ah, not good. And you're going to tell them, I'm going to write you the 1500 the 7500 and the $500. I'm going to do that all for $995. Now, what I just said before is let them do it even better. Come back with the three ads. So what you do is you say, I've written ads for, and then just put in the topics. And the format kind of looks like this. Here's the beginning of the ad. Give them the first 100 words. And then give them the last 50 words. And in between there, there are a bunch of words. And I want you to play with it. Now, have I ever done this in this way? No. Never. But if I were to do it, and I will, just so I do it the way you do, uh, I'm a help wanted ad writer, online and offline, and I do three times, uh, three types of ads, best, the middle, and then, you know, the good, good, better, best. I want to sell you the best one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do good, better, best, all three of them for you for less than a thousand bucks, which would normally be 2,500. And I'm so, um, I am so confident in this format that I want to teach you. It's yours. It's not mine, Alex. It's Wendy's. I'm putting you on the spot because, because you're running it. I figure you're going to do it. If anyone, you're going to do it. <laughs> so you say, um, you don't have to pay me to come back and do these ads. I will teach you the pattern. I won't even charge for it. So you're not only teaching them, you're giving them all three ads, which is simple if you cut and paste. And... You're going to get money up front to begin. Boom. Not Nick. He's going to change the website. Give me $1,500. Then I'll get $2,000 later. You know, he wanted to pause and say, I get paid in advance. And the reason is I work so fast. You'll have it here within 24 hours. And then put your hand up. Now, I have no idea if you'll succeed or not. But if you have a little bit of adrenaline rushing through your bloodstream right now, if you have a few goosebumps coming off of your arms or the back of your neck, if you think you can make an extra $1,000 in one week from one five-minute speech one of your teachers gave you, then I, I, I'm going to match it. If you get a $995 gig and you cannot cheat, I got to see the money, I will match it. And that doesn't go for anyone else because it's not going to be affordable for me. <laughs> so if she gets it, I match it. So help her. And I want the story. I want the story of what you did. I want the disappointment. I want people laughing at you. Ha oh, ha. You know, if you had to put on the Yoda hat, I want to hear that too. Okay. I want to hear the whole story. But if you're willing to take on that assignment, you'll get another thousand Aussie, which is one to one from me. Um, but I got to see the check. And you got to show it to me or show it in the bank account with a screenshot. Okay. Are you ready and willing to take on that challenge? I am ready and willing to take on that challenge. Yeah. I shall lay my sword down. Okay. So buy, you write one and you get as if you wrote, wrote two. Okay. All right. So um, let me go to Sandra and then I'll go back to you and then we'll, we'll do final word. And thank you guys for, for running this show. You guys are, you're, you're amazing. You're amazing. So Sandra, why would I, you and I have been doing some coaching with assistant training and peak potentials and success resources. So you kind of know the way I work. You've given me some resources too for, for training. Why would I do that with Wendy when she's going to lead next week? Why would I make that challenge and not tell my bookkeeper that I'm going to pay a thousand bucks out of my pocket? Why would I do that? Accountability to, you know, give her a good incentive to make sure she does it. And obviously they will you know, her self-belief of, oh, my God, I can do this. After that, I will be like, I can do anything. If I just did that in a week, the belief will be like, yay, I can do it. Okay, and so now I'm the teacher, all of you. I'm the teacher. Let me do this. <laughs> okay. I'm the somewhat decent hair date teacher. I'm the teacher. Now you're the teacher. Now um, everyone paid about 2000 US or 2000 Aussie dollars to come in here, 1997, I believe. So there's more than 10 of you, okay? Um, but let's say there's just 10 of you. There's actually, uh, there were 30 taking the course. So 10 of you um, taking it. If I'm gonna pay 1,000 Aussie, am I borrowing 100 
from each one of your tuitions in theory and then paying Wendy, yes? Yes. So ultimately it's my money but at the very beginning I put aside 20% from each of your tuition for prizes like I did for a challenge that we recently had which some of you made the uh, final congratulations and so the reason I do that is because for a time like this I didn't know if the time would come up I didn't know how good you guys would be I would tell you you are the best um, copywriting group I've ever had ever Americans huh there'd be no one here right now you know, nothing against Americans but they don't follow through Go you guys Aussie. Are, what Go Aussie. so Aussie and look did I tell you tall poppy does not exist on my watch does not exist that we Americans are the short poppies we're just a whole we're the tall poppies in the field here right so um, at UIBC I said you know I showed a tall poppy I said it's so that one tall poppy can bring you know everyone back up and you saw that at G GBI that guy in the middle he's perfect he was red it got him up in the middle so I want you to know how far you have come I know Wendy's gonna at least do it now even if you don't succeed um, I'm gonna pay a hundred US dollars as a safety net just for just for testing it but you have to at least weep a little bit so we get some emotion and then you'll earn your hundred bucks okay um, it, can I can I just let everybody know and maybe this is a good thing that between now and when I see you next week Alex I will be on Harvick as train the trainer from what eight in the morning until eleven at night so if I do it it will be in the middle of that forum with somebody on that course <laughs> And you can now. Were you trained by? Um, were you trained by a world-renowned copywriter? Yes. Okay. Don't mention my name. Um, and you found that your area of expertise was help wanted ads. True or true? True. Okay. And you've learned that there's one style of help uh, that help wanted that works better than any other style. True. True. You've supported your other um, colleagues and students to write in this pattern and it works very quickly some people can write it in a week some people like me can write it in a day true true don't mention that Trevi does it in half an hour we don't want to talk about that okay, okay. and then um, you, um, you can say this is I, I charge less than a, th a thousand Aussie dollars and I give them three ads and they can use it forever and they never have to hire me again so here's your assignment Wendy and this you'll get the thousand or the hundred no matter what because this is an extra assignment I want you to write an ad for a help wanted ad copywriter <laughs> all right I've got to I've got to replay this and write it all down because I'm missing the detail okay, um, and I'm laughing because I'm feeling like I'm in the middle of a get smart or a mission impossible movie where you're giving me the assignment and we're gonna blow up in about 10 seconds <laughs> okay well let me let me show you what we're gonna do okay so check this out okay um, we are going to number one can you hear me yeah oh my gosh I can't believe it <laughs> okay <good>. bonus <laughs> okay so number one okay find a client number two three help wanted ads one four so one for fifteen hundred one for seven fifty one for five hundred yep check Okay. What's the word? Offer. Irresistible offer. Irresistible Leo in Italian. Irresistible. Oh yeah. Very good. Okay, bene, bene. Okay, now next. Your offer. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to find a client. Yep. Um, you're going to show them their their opportunity to get three help wanted ads. Um, one is for fifteen hundred. You always start top down. One is for seven fifty. One is for five hundred. Would you like to see the fifteen hundred dollar one? Great. Well, I I can write all three of them for you, and if you're in a hurry, I could do it within twenty four hours for nine hundred ninety five dollars. Okay. Um, and the reason I'm willing to do that is because it's the last time you'll ever have to pay me for web copy or offline copy for help wanted because I'm going to teach you how to do it too. Yeah. Okay. I am a copywriter and I my specialty is help wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, don't mention my name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, because I'm so fast. I need payment in advance. Now let's say they're unscrupulous, Aussie or otherwise. Let's say um, they're not going to pay you, but you have the ad, right? So they, if they, in the U.S., they go, if they stiff you, they don't pay you, or they, they refuse, go to their competitor and sell it to them. Yeah. Okay. Now, here's the beauty of Help Wanted. With Help Wanted, that's a company that's going to grow. That's why they want help. Now, if you do an ad that is for, you know, product launch, like Hangout Marketing Secrets, you don't know what condition they're in. But if you do their Help Wanted, do you think it's possible for them to hire you for another kind of copywriting deal? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, you'll come back to me and you'll say, Alex, I got hired for something else. I don't know how to do it. Don't worry about it. Just get hired first and then come back and panic. You know how to get a hold of me, yes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The goal here, okay, and here's my offer. So you see it on video and I can't weasel out of it. The the um, offer that I'm making is this. Better than match it. You make nine ninety five. I'll match it with a thousand, but no more than that. Okay. 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 It's a deal. I'm not done. This is the yes or yes part. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now the You're rest off. of the rest of you, I'm serving Wendy. So I want you to be very self-serving, unself-serving, and say, Alex, I'm next. Don't do that because it's not affordable because every dollar I made in tuition will go out. <laughs> but what I do want, you can do it amongst yourselves. What I I'll do take want, you down to the pub, everybody. We'll go out for a drink. Exactly. That's what you're going to do anyway, just like Sandra did with her help wanted thing. So um, uh, what's really cool about this is um, because you are so good, all of you, and I'm, I don't just say that. You've seen me on stage. I reprimand too. You really, really do follow through. You're here every time. Forget it's 4 o'clock here. I mean, you guys show up. It's late at night there. So um, if we do this, now we have a story, and now we have a copywriting group where I can actually send people to you with confidence and tell them, well, I have some help-wanted copywriters, and I've heard you say it now. I've heard you read them. 
I've heard, I've seen you write them now. It's for two weeks. This will be the third week. So when I told you I'm going to be sending you business, it's going to be for help wanted. If you want it, great. If you don't, no problem. But I want to fulfill the promise. Look how fast we accelerated. We're going, you know, baseline, baseline, baseline. And then whoosh, in literally two weeks, look what's happened. Huge. Look what's happened as far as I don't even, I'm not even needed now. It's like you guys are just facilitating. Makes In two weeks, you guys have your own hangout. You don't need me because you have the template. So next week, we're going to have a hangout. Wendy will be running it with me. When is Train the Trainer, Wendy? What is it? When? Oh, I'm, I'm back in time. It finishes on Tuesday evening, next Tuesday evening. Okay. You go for it. What do you do? Well, I do a lot of things, but I'm a help-wanted copywriter. And yeah. um, with trainers, here's how they do it. Um, with trainers, I write um, help-wanted ads for their virtual assistants or their super gophers or the people who work with them. I, I write their help-wanted ads with trainers. Now, is this a good help wanted ad for a trainer that has a 24 hour recorded message and they just want to, is that, is it a good ad for them? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So trainer assistant opportunity of a lifetime, right? And you know what? Let's say that you need a trainer's assistant, trainer assistant, Intern, op, intern opportunity of a lifetime. Wendy, is intern free or paid? Free or paid, an intern? Free, normally. So why don't you write an ad for an intern so you get that person for free? Okay, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that would appeal to a lot of people. Well, it'll appeal to you. You don't have to pay for them. So I'm going to go round robin for a final word, but... Tell me what the assignment is and what your sense of what you're doing. You take great notes typically. Go for it. Um, so the sense of the assignment is that I'm going out there and I'm selling and I am going to pick up a $995 job and I'm going to use all the words and all the strategies and all the applied psychology that I've learnt over the last few months and on this thingy. <laughs> And um, I'm going to get that job, and then if I do, and they pay me, um, I'm going to get. You're going to match it, and um, I'm going to tell my story next week. And if I don't get paid, you're going to give me enough pub money to go down the pub and and shout everybody for a drink. And I'm going to tell you my story anyway. And you're going to give me that consolation prize money because I'm going to tell my story. It's going to be a good story, and then we're, we're all going to vote. We're going to do a Roman thing, okay? So pub, no pub, okay? No, actually, pub with her or pub without her. That means she gives us the 100 bucks. <laughs> and that's, that means I get fed to the lions. Is that right, if it's the Roman thing? <laughs> no. You guys are awesome. All right, let's go round robin. Um, we'll go final word final with you, Wendy. Um, Sandra, you started it. Final word for you. Improvise. Hang on, let me get you. Go for it again. Improvise. Did you do that today? <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, slightly. Good job. Nicholas. Final word. Technology. Oh, you would say that. Thank you. Maria. Confidence. Confidence. LJ, the best pizza ad I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Excitement. <laughs> Excitement. We're excited. You know, you can get excited about dough. We're excited about toppings. We're excited about... Um, <laughs> Cheese, you, know, you can have fun, like every ingredient of a pizza. We're excited about our sauce, and here's why. Like every week, you have a whole new, you know, campaign. Uh, Trevi. Yoda. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I look younger than Yoda today. Uh, and Tom. Autopilot. Autopilot, that's good. Very, very good. Wendy. Um, dough, the other kind of dough, money dough. Oh, that's good. Um, I'll give one that Nick's familiar with, dosh. In the UK, that's cash. Nick, yes? Okay, dosh. I was training in the UK for the first time <laughs> 10 years ago, and I go, how many of you want some dosh right now? I didn't know if I used it in the right context, but they were going crazy. So whether it's dough, dosh, cash, whatever, you are awesome. You go to bed with a level of excitement and 
and know that um, the important thing is you are following through and you are one part um, more more um, skilled at copywriting and don't veer off into another level do help wanted because that's the safest place to go and you know you have a growing company go straight to your competitors and we're gonna have a little case study next week when this woman is gonna come back in our reality show called help wanted secrets all right <laughs> let me see if I can get some um, acoustical things going let's see I don't, I don't even know how to use the uh, uh, does anyone know how to use the the special effects I don't, know how to use it. I don't know how to use it I was gonna do a a, um, a clap let me see Tom can you give me a halo I like a halo thing <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah, what did you do for that? You Wendy. <laughs> That's judging for Wendy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Funny. Oh, that's scary. Oh, that's even scarier. This oh. is how I feel right now because I get to have Melbourne coffee. All right. All right. So. You know, you guys, If what you can do for me is one of these days you can come back and you can send me frozen Melbourne coffee and say, thank you for being a great trainer. I can put it in my freezer and I can grind it up and have it in the morning because there's nothing else like it. So start thinking about that, okay? Just, mm -hmm. All right. I'm planting the seed for the bookstore. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Sandra, thank you for leading it. Wendy, good luck. You have the show next week, okay? Uh, just one question. Do I, what do I do? do I, I, Sean's given me instructions on, on the technology side, but do I just come in about 10 minutes early or do I? Come in 10 minutes early. Sandra will teach you. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what you do, but uh, right. she'll teach you, and if I go mute, you keep talking. <laughs> okay? All right. Thank you very much. See you next week. Good luck, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.